issue that is very important to me and I'm sure everybody else here. And I think the thing that is a little confusing to me is how long this has happened. I know that we say because of social media is why we see everybody coming together finally, why we see large corporations and companies finally making a stance on not only Black Lives Matter, but police brutality as well, which is great. But to me, I'm like, there's been so much evidence and we've had social media, I think for about 10 years at least. And I just kind of wonder when people are gonna stop educating themselves, I guess, and then we're just gonna go back into our normal lives. Because I really hope like when we learn from things that we're witnessing today in the streets, that this has been happening and I read something where it's like, you know, racism has been happening since the 1600s. That alarm's been going off, but we've just been hitting snooze, right? We haven't been really committed 100%. So I really hope, like, when we come to moments like this and everybody is educating themselves and everybody is using their platform to speak about justice, police brutality, that we actually continue and are, to educate ourselves and continue that fight. You know, because it's not just right now, it's not going to be just for a month. This is a continuous fight that a lot of people face. And I think you know, the classism issue in our government, it's a lot of systems that are being oppressed. And we need to be more involved as a community, um, I guess, to vocalize that. And that's what I've been seeing, right, with the protest. Things have actually been happening with that. And that makes me so happy to, to see change from that. And I just hope that we really do continue that because growing up, you know, I am half Mexican and I witnessed a lot of racism just on the Latino culture. And now I'm starting to see my own family come to terms with that. And it's kind of crazy because I have a black side and like they don't acknowledge that in a sense. But it's really nice to see that, you know, even family can come together and you can talk to your family members about that. And I think that is so important too, is starting in your homes and starting in your groups and just starting the conversation and continuing that conversation and always talking about it. So I think Frosty for even giving us a platform like this, allowing the community to speak. Um, because again, that's that's really important just to hear what we have to say. So that's that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you. Make some noise for Sarah Marshall, everyone. <laughs>